Okay, I'm using this stone to, to sharpen some Yanagibas. I'm starting to feel that it's a little bit uneven. You can feel that because uh, you know we go at it at an angle. So here and here, the kind of high points right now, I can feel it. It's starting to annoy me. So I'm needing to lap it. And that's where this guy comes in. This is the glass lapping plate and powders from Gendi, uh, Gendi Industries, a uh, knife sharpening company. So let's just open it up. Now, in all of sharpening, flattening the stones are probably <laughs> one of the things that I hate the most. So being able to do it easy and quick, definitely a big plus. So we've got three different bottles of silicon carbide powder. We've got fine, medium, and coarse. All right. So from what I hear, coarse is like extremely coarse. Uh, if your stone is in horrible condition, like really bad condition, then you use this. Or if you're dealing with uh, diamond resin stones, then you use this. Because what happens is, not only does this eat the stone really quick, it also tends to eat the glass really quick too. So if you can't avoid using that, and for something that is like, it's not too bad, but you do need to lap, uh, lap it. I think this probably falls in that uh, category. You're going to want to use medium and follow up with fine. I suppose if you're doing like in between sharpens and you do lap, uh, that's something that you do do. Um, the fine, just using the fine should probably be fine. <laughs> it's a lot of fines. But uh, after the medium, you do want to go to the fine just to like dress the stone. So it's not too coarse, it's not artificially coarse. Of course, uh, as usual, Jendi has really good packaging to protect the glass, of course. Now it's a huge piece of glass. There you go. Uh, fits the uh, 210 by 70s. Uh, well, Jendi sells a lot of uh, stones for guided systems like 6x1s and the 4x1s for the KME. So it's nice that you can also do the big full size stones with this. Makes life a little bit easier. All right, so let's just. Is there anything left in here? A really thick black base. You know what? I think this might uh, do nice as a, as a liner for the bottom of the glass. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I've got I've got my own mat, so let's forget that. So uh, if I got this right, what you got to do is take out your bottle. Okay, and uh, I think you need to apply the powder first, and then you spit some water on it. From what I hear, this is plenty. Okay, what I'm also going to do beforehand, so I'm just going to mark this up. This is so that you can see where the high and the low points are. See where you're removing material, if you've removed enough, if it's flat. Okay. A bit of water. And see where we're removing material so as I said this two spots are the high points uh, we sharpen around the middle of course we try to use the ends as much as possible uh, just to be economical about it but uh, yeah we end, do we do end up missing out the high points which is what lapping helps us with got some suction hey you know what that's pretty quick I used to do this on like sandpaper and this would take me forever. So we've already, uh, you know, it was like this much earlier and now we've uh, moved on. So I suppose if uh, you don't have enough, I have a feeling I do have enough, but I'm just a bit impatient and uh, greedy. I'm just going to add a little bit in the corners and the ends because that's pretty much where I need the most amount of cutting to happen. Let's add a bit of water. Just to lubricate it. Okay. 
I need a bit more water because it is starting to stick. Got some good progress there. Wow, we're almost true. Okay. You know, I'm going to rinse this off. Uh, probably rinse that off as well. And we'll just reapply another round of uh, this powder. Probably will work a little bit faster. This is where we're at. It's not too bad. Okay, I'm just gonna rinse this off. Don't drop it. So I find that if the surface that I'm working on is dry, the glass plate tends to slide around a lot less, if at all. So I'm just gonna dry this off. I guess you could put a piece of cloth like this underneath it. Nasty piece of cloth. Okay, more powder. Magic dust. Okay, so we were like, we started out like that much, like, uh, I don't know, the first minute or so. So let's continue. About halfway there, I suppose. Well, people know how impatient I am. And they say less is more, more is more, more. Let's hope I don't overdo it. That's good progress. I suppose we're getting there. All right, so this was up until about there just now. I'm just left with this center spot. I'm going to rinse this off again because that's a lot of load up. <clears throat> On hindsight, I probably should have used coarse. So I was advised against it. Yeah, here we go. This is my workout for the week. I think one more round should do it.
Now, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be washing it off this often, but uh, Thomas, Thomas can correct me if I am indeed doing it, uh, over, over washing it. Silicon carbide powder is actually very hard. And I'm sure you can eat, uh, you know, ceramics like this pretty easily. But when I feel like it's no longer removing material or the, you know, the channels in the diamond plate is like getting loaded up, that's when I, I kind of have the feeling like, you know what, it's time to put new compound on. Get more water. It's pretty good. Just a little bit left right there. There, that looks good. Like new. You just see a little bit of a Sharpie mark left in there. Just a little bit. Nice. Okay, so, um, well, this is my coarsest stone. This is 340 grit. Uh, usually you will want to put, you know, as I said earlier on in the video, you do usually want to go off and finish off on the fine grit compound. But because this is a stone that I'm going to be removing a lot of material with, I'm just going to leave it at this. You know, the coarser it is now, the faster I can do my work. And I think that's how I want it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. This literally was, uh, you know, an immediate out of the box uh, test and usage. Uh, I'm so grateful for this stone. I used to use those big uh, silicon carbide wet dry sandpapers. And even on six by one stones, those used to take me hours. <laughs> it was brutal. So this is, this is a huge uh, lifesaver. Thanks a lot, Thomas. Uh, anyways, uh, don't forget to give us that like and subscribe. We truly appreciate it. Uh, if you guys, again, have any questions, just put it down in the comments below and I'll try to address them as best as I can. Anyways, until the next video, you guys stay safe and stay sharp. Don't do things like this. All right, don't stab yourself with a knife. Peace.